Since Tableau limits you to just one dual access per worksheet, I'll show how to go beyond that and create as many synchronized axes as you want. Right now I have two worksheets that both use a dual access and the axes aren't synced between the worksheets. And that's because each sheet is adjusting its access based on the minimum and maximum values within its view. So I'm going to start by creating a calculative field to identify the minimum value across both worksheets. And first I need to figure out what are all the values on this worksheet. So for every month, what's the last year value? Then I want to know of all those values, what's the minimum? So this is going to give me the minimum value within this worksheet. I'll copy this line, do a less than sign, and then paste it. And I just need to change the last year field to the this year field. So if the minimum value on this worksheet is less than the minimum value on the other worksheet, then give me the minimum value on this worksheet. Otherwise, give me the minimum value on the other worksheet. And I'll just wrap this in an if and end to complete the condition. It looks a little complicated, but this calculated field is just returning the lowest monthly value between the two worksheets. So now that I have my lower bound, I also need to create my upper bound. I'm going to duplicate the field and edit it so I can identify the maximum value across both worksheets. And all I need to do is change the minimums to maximums, since this is for the upper bound. Then I'll change less than to be greater than. I used LODs here because I want to calculate outside of what's in our views. To make these values lock in the upper and lower bounds of our axes, I'll add them to the marks. Then I'll go to the Analytics tab and add a reference line for the table. I'll start with the upper bound, which is the maximum values, and I'll take the maximum. For now, I'll label the line with the value so you can see how it works visually. I'm going to go to the other worksheet and do the same thing, adding in the min and max values to the marks, and then adding a reference line for the maximum values. And you can see the maximum value, which is like 1.25 billion, is now the actual maximum bound of the axis. And the dot with that value lines up exactly where it intersects the line. But if we go to the other worksheet, the top of the axis still goes to 1.25 billion, even though none of the dots reach that height. So we've created a dynamic upper bound for the axes. And now I just need to sync the lower bounds as well. So I'll drag a reference line in for the table, and this time choose the minimum value and take the minimum. So even though this worksheet doesn't have the maximum value between both worksheets, we can see it has the minimum. I'll repeat that same process for the other worksheet and pull in a reference line so I can set it to the minimum value. This little trick helps us anchor the axes by using consistent minimum and maximum values across worksheets. And since Tableau has to include the reference line, it stretches the access to that value instead of adjusting it based on only the marks in the view. And the best part is we can make the reference lines visible. So while they're quietly capping the top and bottom of the axis, no one will even notice. Now I'm just going to go through and hide all these reference lines. The ability to sync axes across worksheets gives you so much more flexibility because you're not just limited to a dual axis anymore. This opens up a ton of options for customizing your visuals, like layering different chart types, using different mark styles, or combining views that normally wouldn't share an axis. And to finish, we just need to lay these worksheets on top of each other within a dashboard. So I'll bring both of these worksheets in. And since our headers are the same, I'm going to remove them on one of the worksheets. Then I'll hide the titles of both worksheets. And I'll resize this one so that it fits in my container. Then for the other one, I'm just going to lay it on top, making sure to align as well as I can. And if you have a little bit trouble with aligning, you can use the grid lines by pressing G on your keyboard. Since the current year is more important, I'm going to go to the Layout tab so I can move that worksheet to the front. Now we can switch the metrics, and the axes will adjust automatically based on the range of the selected metric. 